G'day everyone, Rising Punk Gaming here and welcome back. We are going to smash into M5 Star, Master 5 Star, Key Quests. We want to get things going along, which I alluded to in the previous episode. And we're going to try our hand at our very first Master Rank Rajan. Let's see how we go. Now this is just the regular Rajan, it's not the uh, Furious Boy. I don't know when we'll unlock him, but I would hazard a guess it's not too far away now. But we'll uh, go ahead and deal with uh, Vanilla Lad. And then I think after that we'll hit up uh, Basil Goose, because that's another key quest and that'll also be a first time encounter for Master Rank if my memory serves me correctly. So some pretty fun stuff coming up for this episode. Hope that everyone's doing very well. Doing pretty well myself. We might just... Oh no, I won't do that after all. There's some shrubbery where I could have... Did a little bit of slashing to get some birds, but eh. Eh, I say eh. In fact, how about after getting you and also getting... This. We'll do a little teleport over to here. been digging into a little bit of arena off of there and I've been getting lots and lots of uh, opportunities to send the um, what is it the Argosy cats and stuff like that out and as I've been doing that repeatedly and <laughs> admittedly carting a fair bit we've been cycling them through pretty fast and We've been spending lots and lots of points. So our points, Tamara points are looking a little bit uh, low at the moment. And the reason I'm talking about all this is I am um, pretty tempted to pick up any of those point giving items if we come across them. But in any case, let's focus on what's happening here. Rajang and the Master Rank. Honestly, Rajang and his version in World. The last two generations of him of I don't know. They've been pretty manic and somewhat powerful, I guess, but I think they've lost a lot of their uh, scary factor compared to older incarnations. I don't know if that's just a virtue of me being a bit of a veteran of the series by this point in time or they just made him a little bit different. But in any case we'll see how we go. We brought his favourite ice element against him. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty big hop, which I don't recall he had it in high rank. Oh, so he links that with a blanker roll. That's new. That's a master rank. Ow. Also, with this weapon, this will be our first um, experience of purple sharpness. Is that right? In a little bit of time in between recording, as they usually are. This being the first one of the weekend. Last recording session was last weekend. <laughs> Alright, lovely. Alright, pretty non exciting, ordinary sort of start, but we witnessed probably two. Master rank isms, so that's exciting. I feel sort of that huge diving shoulder barge thing was new for Master rank too. So I'm gonna have to be careful when he lifts rocks, because that means a blanker ball in the face. Is there not another wire bug around here? Oh, there it is. 
Okay, now we'll start spamming, spamming some silk vines if we don't get our butts handed to us first. And I think the shield bash will be perfect. Get some easy blue damage. Oh. But we'll save these bugs. Oh, I got three. Damn, we wasted them. Very satisfying. You have a little bit of trouble hitting this monger. You may have him tied down, but he's still very dangerous. This couldn't have come at a better time for me. Damn it. Alright, we really need to land a good Metsu. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, there's none of the buttons. Not the buttons I wanted. Oh boy. So blank a ball into... Oh. Helpful if we landed the hit. Ah! Oh. It's because I was talking smack about it at the start of the episode. <laughs> Alright. Let's bring it back, dude. Pop, 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 and pop. Okay, blue damage, I'll take it. You do that. Smack. He didn't care. <laughs> Just blocked that RFG. Alright, Metsu time. And hit him. We really want this ride to come while we got the uh, gold wire bug here. Leap. Get that tail with some ice element. Oh, of course the last one doesn't make it. <laughs> oh, those fists are rubbery like monkey de loopy. Pop. Pop. Oh, okay, the hitbox is that far back. I should know. I've experienced it many a time. In my career. Career. Oh, we just can't get a satisfying Mitsu punish. I know. <laughs> I saw it myself. So he's got a few little tricks and alterations. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. There's some of those Chalcedony things, alright. Bone mass. Chalcedony? I have no idea what that means. I'm a bit embarrassed to admit it, but I don't know what that means. Chalcedony, Chalcedony. Alright. Pop. And we don't have the gold bug, so I think we'll just uh, knock him here. Not bother to go visit another monster. Not bad damage. Could go the horns, but I want to go the tail. Knock him out of it. I think one of the reasons I found him so trivial was because I was playing the High Ninja Sword with, um, I'd be right, with Mind's Eye. Makes a pretty big difference as a sword and shield up. Or any Blade Master wanting to hit him anywhere near the head when he's enraged. For those that don't know, those blue arms, the blue, red arms. That he gets when he's enraged. Yeah, they have a very strong property to them. I don't know if they'll bounce all sharpness. I think they're bouncing purple. Such is their uh, 
utter toughness. So always a good thing to think about if you're looking to make a specific set or just do a quick sort of redecorate and re-gemming before going on a quest. I imagine it'd be even more useful against Furious. Might have a little turf for here. Doesn't seem to really notice. Where's that water come from? Oh, it must have been the decoy thing. Good job, Pinchy Jr. Wow, he got both monsters. Don't think I can really take advantage of that so much. But... Like a ball, I remember just in time. That reaction. out of it. We get rewarded for working on that tile when it's presented to us. Speaking of getting points, every little bit helps. So what's he up to? I think I'm gonna grow grab some baggage and attack upage. Oh he's right on me. Is it just me or is that hop backwards a little bit different? It's like he takes more time and maybe he jumps back further than he usually does. Or maybe. Just imagining stuff. I have a feeling it's different though. Rajang has a very high resistance to stun and well at least traditionally he does so I was just about to say I don't really expect to see another KO anytime soon but I'll try it looks like this uh, Pinchy is doing a hell of a good job for me giving us Thunder Blight which should Help me get this KO. We can just land one more shot on the head, probably. In time. Go, go, go. Pop. God. Well. Any other monster that probably would have been a KO, but yeah. Super resistant and relatively recently KO. Well, that bull run, that's new. In muscle rank. Ah, not in history. Could really do with the top up of our stamina. Get me in a little bit of trouble potentially. All right, starting to get a little bit more confident against this guy. So the push through the keys, the keys, we're getting them done. We're gonna get a free muddy buddy bit out of this. Not to mention Rajang bits. We need his pelt for unlocking the level 15 support moves or unlocking the ability to swap them out. And pop. I see. Very glad that he was rideable again because there was every chance that he wouldn't be, but figured enough time had passed and we were right. Right, that's probably all the value we're going to get out of that. Oh, get out of the way, would you? One horrible oversight I've just had. Just realized that I've had is 
I keep forgetting to go back and get my destroy oil on. I've been playing to my switch active. <laughs> okay, I don't mind getting hit as long as I got the effect. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. That was a beam. Get that going, get that going, that, follow up, more shield bashes, chaining all these shield hits in together. Oh, his hand comes back that far. I honestly didn't think a KO was going to come from that spot I hit. Gladly take it. I'll be glad that I got away with those many, that many hits, to be honest. There's a late time to try a uh, perfect rush. Pop. Get that back. It lasts for 45 seconds, apparently. <sighs> it's kind of fun, like, doing the shield bash in through the uh, laser. <laughs> it's kind of blank a ball. And so he can choose to blank a ball 180 degrees away from where he did the initial rock high looks. I've noticed that he does not a whole lot of back hopping. He did it right then though. Whether that's a function of where we've been positioning this time or just the way he behaves now. So glad that didn't get the arm. Holy crap. Oh man, that was satisfying. It's gonna hop back on this one. No? I'm a liar. That one's a pretty useful uh, move for him. Whoa! Especially at that range, because it takes you. Quite a surprise for sure. Come at me, bro. Oh, we can't get enough. Nothing like getting a 20 point damage hit on that arm. Oh, baby. <laughs> We'll take what we can get. I'm kind of pleased with how, he, how this is going, because... It's definitely been a bit of a challenge, which I didn't feel was the case that much in high rank. His movements are being a little bit annoying and hard to escape. Can I hop back? No. Hop. Hop. And he's gonna run. I'll let it happen. Come on. Because there's no way we're going to try and desperately cap him before he gets. before he zones out. It's got too many shinies to get. Alright. Might just cap him though. Because <laughs> I want to get through a lot. This guy is below. While he's like this... Shock trap. Brilliant. 
I'll play some water laden amusing mist. Where? Ah, quite the position. Sneaky. No one would suspect. Hence the genius of that placement, Pinchy. I'm considering bringing a different cat type out in the near future. Maybe I'll do it next place. We'll check the buddy dojo. Because I've got... I think I've got some... Support cats graduating soon. <laughs> and we've just unlocked the ability to swap the final slot. Um, delivery. You got the material I need. Now the buddies will be able to do some high level training and really blossom. I'm sure you'll see an increase in the type of support moves your buddies can learn as a result. Try making some changes. It's really going to come in... What? Come in poorly. Handy? or oh, hand poor. On the hunt. And remember, if you're looking for new buddies, I'm your buddy. Oh. Okay. So how are our training... Oh, that's right. We actually had a few graduate already. And we're working on training some bomb cats right now. Okay. So, we leave that menu, and let's have a look at swap support moves. We'll have a look at our graduated, recent, recent graduates here. I've got you... oh yeah. These ones... These ones are out doing recon or whatever it's called. Ah oh, yeah. Ah, oh, the cool thing is, I'm only just realising now, their icon in these menus show their sort of their fur patternage, at least on the head, which makes it very easy to visualize the ones I custom made. So we've got Kat, Rena, and Arnold here. Uh, so their support, they're always going to have the feline silk bind, they're always going to have poison perisen. So what sort of things would we uh, want? Well, I guess let's have a look. I want to keep them somewhat on theme, but I also want them, if possible, to have some yarn endemic life here. It's pretty much mandatory. Um, so unfortunately we're missing out on things like uh, base vitality, I can do away with power drum. Sounds a drum that raises attack and defense for both hunters and buddies. Yeah, that's a shame, but um, oh well. Go fight win is good for stamina, I think. Go fight win. Reduces hunter's stamina loss while your palico is dancing. I don't use a lot of stamina heavy stuff at the moment, so it's not very important. What else could we put in instead of that? Spins around using their weapon to create a whirlwind and ramps monsters. Zap blast spinner. That one's kind of bomb cat themed. Mega boomerang. Um, I'm just trying to think. You're a support cat. You're tricky. You've got your poison perisen, you've got your feel iron silk bind. You out of all of these would probably have Well, is that blast bit of this kind of on the theme too? Let's give that a go. And forbidden acorn is for fires movement hindering iron silk at large monsters using a palico sized blister. That's perfectly on theme with a trap cat. Um but these are the other things we could get. Um, <laughs> I'm just... Oh yeah! The thing that I read before is correct. I just confused myself. Why the hell is Forbidden Acorn? <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, just having a huge derp moment here. All right, so on trapping theme, Forbidden Acorn's not really the guy. Um, Shock Perizen, Shock Tripper, Electric Field for the Thunder Blight. I really like that. That's on theme. Ah, oh, man, I got crazy. So Arnold's going to be the guy, and we're going to rename if we can. 
How do I do that? Rename a buddy. Arnold is the lad. Okay, what's a fun name for a support cat that does traps and stuff like that? Trixie or something? Yeah. That's all I got for now. Trixie. Trixie. Which is the more fun spelling? Trixie. That one. Uh, I don't know, I like the sound of the IE actually. Trixie. Yeah. And let's go ahead and hire. I'm oh, not hire. What, what do I get? Napping feline and canine obtained an award. Ooh! Ooh! Etto. Toys of a cuddling feline and canine awarded to avid, in avid instructors at the Buddy Dojo. I see. Alright, Pinchy, we're going to give you a little rest, my friend. Great pinching out there. I'm going to put a new person in. And I think we'll make you, Trixie, some new armor and weapons, stuff like that. I also need to do a whole bunch of things for you yet. Uh, so first off, we want to uh, increase skill memory. And done. All right. So we've got Buddy Part Breaker, Critical Up, and Ranged Up as your offensive stuff. Negate Wind Pressure, Health Up Small, Negate Paralysis, Earplugs, Negate Poison. Interesting. Lots of negations going on. I wonder if these types of cats get negate a lot, or if it's just kind of similar between different support types. I think there is a little bit of a bias for some skills for some support types. But in any case, eh, it's not looking that good. Um, luckily, we've got the ability to do something about this. Buddy skill lesson. Um, I don't know how many times and how many skills I can do this for. So we'll just have another learning experience here. Buddy, buddy part breaker, I like the idea of. So I think we'll keep that. It's only one point to... Makes body parts easier to break the more... Oh, but you have to have lots of red things equipped. Okay. Oh, well, maybe we learn... Who cares about wind pressure? Maybe we learn health up large. And that'll be our only blue thing. And then we'll go ahead and make it quite aggressive. Ah, uh, so, goodbye health up small, hello attack up large, get a critical large, get a attack up small, and just leave that as is for the meantime, see how, see how much we can equip. Alright, so we want that, we want that, we want that, uh, this, I guess we'll really go for the crit. Alright, so let's get you a weapon that will uh, justify this. By the way, here's what some of these other new ones look like. We've not seen the Malzino stuff yet. <gasps> What's the weapon's affinity? Zero. Feline Jelly. <laughs> Feline Diablos. Tigrex. Okay. Negative affinity. Twenty I saw. Twenty or twenty-five I saw. Okay. So twenty-five for the Rockna. 
as fire and it was 20 I saw the Espinus mm. and it's got poison too I kind of think I like that kind of on theme he's po he's a uh, purple colored poison is purple he does poison purple prison or whatever it's called <laughs> okay so let's make some scraps or we could make some equipment okay if we can make four Esmanus armor pieces we'll get the oh that's assuming I want to make the whole set do I let's just have a quick look But first, oh, we didn't have zero. We had zero pieces. All right. All right, let's make it happen. We maybe can make four pieces. Oops. In terms of armor, I guess this other stuff is not that uh, advantageous compared to a full set of espinas. Um, I kind of don't mind the idea of the. this armor either but I think just for sake of simplicity there you go <laughs> and we can maintain sight of your awesome looking uh, <laughs> lower body part there your, f your fur that's the words I wanted <laughs> okay Alright, so we've done that, and we've also accidentally equipped some bits. Next month is going to be Basil Goose. Have we done everything that we needed to do for it? Yeah, we have. Okay, so... Basil Goose, Basil Goose, what do you hate? I don't know if you hate water so much, but we'll chuck on our water... Swacks. Comfy versus... This one. I think we'll go comfy. Double check our switch skills here. We don't have the counter on. Okay, I was on this one. Yeah, that's where I usually put it if I do it all. I think I'm happy to save that. Alright, some avocados to deal with. And this will get us a little bit more information. But first... Oh no! I knew I shouldn't have taken the quest. Confusing the... Uh, well, I was pressing the same button I would have wanted to jump off the dog. We didn't pat the owl. This is going to be a quest full of bad luck. We forgot to do a lot of things. What's wrong with my poor scrambled brain today? <laughs> okay, eat. There we go. Ah, just getting a little bit more coffee into me. Because, my god, I need it, lol. <laughs> Especially if we want to react fast to blasty avocados. Can't really see it from here. Monk snail hope. go 
going to be interesting to see how our Trixie here works out. Excuse me. It's going to be nice to have a little bit of trap action support against this big lad. And I'm not going to skimp on the buffs here. Kind of feel sorry for Trixie, speaking of, because <laughs> not a lot in the way of defensive skills. And this is a bit of a guy that you need some support. Oh, that didn't hit me. Okay, we have to get our brain back into Switch Axe after a week. Let's go. So we want to get this amped up state. We've got Soaring Riven to help us out to that end. Switch Charge is not really comboing out of that the way I want it. This um, evade distance is going to be pretty damn handy for us here. Okay. This is a guy that we should be uh, practicing our this on. Elemental burst counter. Very nice. Alright, let's keep ourselves top to where possible. Oh, that's right, Brew here. Wasn't really on purpose that I went that way, but it kind of worked out. Alright, you can come, you can come, come on. Heck yeah. Still not rideable though. Okay, this should make you rideable. No. Not ready yet. Oh, what? Must have been a buddy. Let's go for a little bit of a trip. I'm not going to waste this opportunity to go grab us some Aurora Somnicanth bits. Can't really, I can't really remember what her set had on it in terms of skills, but. I want to make it eventually. This will help. Did I hit her? Oh. That's very unfortunate. Oh, that's right, Brew here. <laughs> How many times have you heard me say that this uh, whole gameplay series is the, in the course of this gameplay series? What's he doing? What's that? Oh, that's from World. Or is it? It's very similar to something from World, but it seems to do it really fast. Is it like an edited version? Oh, nice! Gotta pay that. Good hit. Good hit, Bazaar. Splendid job. Yep. Oh god. Ah, that was Trixie, yep. 
Bloody hell, brew here. Oh, that really came far. Alright, let's throw this out. Patience. Could have chosen a better direction for that RF car. Damn it! <laughs> I'm just not going to pick up brew hairs from now. <gasps> but honestly, even using high potions, brew hair does help because it makes you heal faster as well. That healing effect really gets souped up. Yeek. Still sticking around, I am. Haha, one for the road. <laughs> There's that top. It's a bit of a novelty for me because I don't think I really. Uh, had any of my support cats use that previously? Fun to see it pop off in action. I want to see it happen sometime soon. Do we have any sharpener skills on this? Bit of protective polish. Don't roll me out of the sky. Thank you. Yeah. to know the timing for that. Time to get the axe out I think. Good job. That was a bit of an afterthought for this hunt but I guess we'll take advantage of this opportunity. Tisk tisk tisk. Oh, lucky. Oh no. Lovely. Still taking a little bit of damage here and there. Damn it. <laughs> Brew hair. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go for this one. Go, go, go. Oh. I think we just stick to axe mode here. I mean, I ain't got the energy to really do much. Rectify that. I think we'll go ahead and use, not that, this. Aha, he twerked on it. Just what I wanted. I think there's a poison pitfall over there. Ah, oh, we're not in a good position.
I did it straight over. <laughs> oh, he's finally doing this. Where are you? <laughs> oh my god. Not too bad. Not too bad, Archie. I was panicking and panicking and panicking. I wanted to set that up earlier than I actually got it out. Oh, spare me that tr right trigger. That was sick. <laughs> Beautiful. Can you get it heavenly for that? No. Basil Goose Cortex. Outer shell with excellent resistance to protect the Basil Goose from, from bomb blasts. That coffee's helping. Must be. Lol. Right, let's bring this home just as strong. Where'd you, where'd, where, where's your tail, Basil? Where, where, where'd it go, mate? <laughs> Massive Basil Goose Talon. Terrifyingly terrifying knowing how many have been laid to rest by its destructive power. Alright. <laughs> ah, that's a really good move of his. Position for the thwap. The double thwap makes you kind of think twice because it is a very tempting place to be right under him like that. I think the designers took note. Woohoo, Bruhe used properly. Well maybe in that case, if I had a, an herb, it would have sufficed long. Let's go! Oh no. Okay, that was lucky. Alright, I guess we'll do it again. Uh, just step out of it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it twice in a row. I don't have the bugs. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> yeah, gotta use the brew hair high potion. Yeah! Alright. 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 Now he's being really testy. Dude. Okay, we gotta concentrate. Don't know if this will pay off. <laughs> Alright, stay there, stay there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, oh wow. Pop. <laughs> Got lots of stamina.
All right, nice, nice, nice. Whew. Got a lot of HP, this boy. Only fair that we get some of our own then. <laughs> on this side. Man, the travel distance on that. Never can judge his raw timing. Kinda of crazy how fast the bugs come back for the counter. I guess the counter's not that OP in terms of dam oh, damage. But I reckon they'll, it's probably going to be something subject to a patch. I could see the uh, cooldown time being extended for it for sure. I just can't, I can't repeat the performance of before. <laughs> oh, sadness. It's like catch, it's sort of that catch 22. You're damned if you don't try again, you're damned if you do. Oh. Man, I need to fight so many more of these to get used to the timing of a whole bunch of his things, not to mention his avocados. I mean, they do have the colour indication, but it's still a bit hard to judge from me. <laughs> when they're gonna pop. What? Oh no, that's a load. Oof. Can you get on here, Trixie? One for the road. It just suddenly cuts. All right. So at the time of recording, we've had like at least one or two patch updatey things, and I think the uh, sort of music cutting out was largely fixed. But I don't know if a little bit of problem remains. Always get just too greedy with one too many slashes. Oh. So this will be our um, opportunity to get those basil bits that we wanted before. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. Come on. Oh, finally. Wow. He is difficult. Especially with some that can't. We get a icing, not a sleeping. 
Okay. Oh, that was a trial and a half. Okay, basic, basil goose. In the basil bag. We uh, didn't have the best, didn't have the worst fight. The one thing that really let me down on this fight was my inability to evade through a lot of stuff. But that'll come with time and practice. But damn god, there were so many times I really wish I could have successfully rolled through something. So we should have a couple of new entries. Exclamation mark dealt with. Let's get some more coffee in me. Very nice. Man, oh man. The Curio are acting strange. With their host gone, they've lost their food source. So me and the other researchers figured it was only a matter of time before they'd all die out. Yet they're still fluttering around. Why do you think they're acting strange? No knight has reported anything. Have. Have you noticed anything, Solsage? <laughs> Nothing? Hmm, yes, me neither. Yep. Mm, well, I'd like to think it's just my imagination, but I've been studying the Curio for a long time now. And maybe I'm like those twins from Sosage's village. I just resonate with them now, I guess. Mm. <sighs> the only thing you resonate with is my nerves. <laughs> you owe Sosage's friends an apology for that remark. Anyway, spit it out now. What's strange about the Curio? Well, it's like they're getting ex excited. Sure, they're slowly weakening without their hosts, but they seem happy. Like children that were praised by their parents. I see. That is strange. But if that's your feeling, Bahari, I don't doubt it. What's the reason? I've got a tentative hypothesis, but it's kind of shaky, so I'm not going to say just yet. Don't want to confuse things. Very well. We'll wait until you're ready to report them. Sasage, we must be in a precarious situation, it seems. Stay alert. Or we may. Hmm. Fiorain, you and Sasage will continue handling quests from Chiche. Just keep an eye on the curio. Alright, we will. Alright, that's going to do for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, had lots of fun fighting a f uh, not a furious a regular Rajang and a regular basil goose for the first time in master rank and we tried out our little Trixie cat here who did a pretty good job not too bad so I look forward to uh, taking her out again and looking forward to taking you all out again for the next set of key quests but until then guys have a great day we're signing off for now and we'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.